original energy source from the Big Bang that we just haven't discovered yet. It was like to make a little coinage at the end of these. I do something called Caught in the Act for the Huffington Post, and it's people caught in the act of doing something amazing, you know, wow. that I think is amazing. I get to choose. Wow. And I have chosen you today. <laughs> and yeah. you, I just happened to what am I doing? catch you in the act Does in my know? own office. <laughs> what am I doing? So, I don't know, but I'm excited to find out. Ah. So what I want to find out from you is you have a few minutes to talk about the future of the world, or the future of your world, or the book that you're writing, or the film that you've just done. Tell me, what matters in your life now? What matters in the world? What should we be doing? How can we sort it out? Wow. Well, the overall arc of what I'm doing is starting a conversation. It's a conversation that I think we're hungry for. So I teach. That's part of the conversation. I teach at Pepperdine. I try to turn upside down what the kids think they know and rethink. Uh, I, I'm writing a book. Right now the working title is What Would Jesus Tweet, which is an odd title. Um, but it's about uh, how we can r birth a new world. Mm -hmm. um, because I think it's really simple. We make everything very complicated. It's not about passing this law and getting that limitation there and upping this budget. It's about each of us becoming the change we want to see. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm doing a lot. And I've got films. I've got, other, I've got films. I've got some comedies. You remember that? Uh, <laughs> I did direct Ace Ventura, take care now, bye-bye then. Uh, so I'm still uh, trying to reach people through film, the media of film. Uh, and we have a talk show. Actually, I'm uh, going to MTV uh, next week, uh, which, again, is part of the conversation. MTV is interested now in doing talk. Um, so it's not just going to be MTV Cribs and Teen Mom and, and uh, the Jersey Shore, but we're, we're going to actually try to have a conversation with kids now about the new world that they can create. So why are you doing all this? You made a ton of money. You were famous. You could uh, be lounging on a couch somewhere with 15 pretty girls. I mean, t tell me, what's the deal? Why? Outside of the 15 pretty girls, that sounded really boring. <laughs> uh, you never know. <laughs> but the, uh, yeah, uh, outside of that, no, uh, yeah, and I've lounged on the couch, and I've sat on the cushion of advantage, and I've seen myself fall asleep. And the more uh, I engage in this conversation. The more I have shared whatever resources have come to me, shared them with the world, the wealthier I have felt. Mm -hmm. Wealth of the soul, a truer kind of richness. So um, I don't do anything out of guilt. I don't do anything because I have to. I do it because it's a joy. It's a blessing to talk to you. It's a blessing to talk to the kids at Pepperdine. It's a blessing to, to even talk about having a, a talk show where we can help to shift consciousness. I do it because it's a joy. Are you hopeful? Everybody uh, thinks the world's falling apart. Come on, what do you think? Yeah, well, look, underneath it, um, I believe as Emerson did and as the mystic Julian of Norwich felt, which all shall be well and all shall be well and all manner of things shall be well. So I think the soul is and the soul is wonderful. And we have to catch up to that. I see this, this energy happening. I see it here in this office. I see it now in media. I see people hungering for something. Mm -hmm. And because so many things are broken, opportunity and crisis being part of the same word in Chinese, there's this incredible opportunity and I think people are seizing that opportunity. So I am insanely hopeful. You know, from my perspective, what you're doing is brilliant. You're inspiring people like crazy. You're informing them about your journey. Now what I think is missing potentially is the empowerment part. Everybody's inspired like crazy, they're informed, but, but how do you empower them? How do you get them to be able to be these change makers? Well, for me, power comes from understanding what is. And we are told that we have no power. We are told that the power exists outside. How can you change culture? How can you change media, this big thing called media? And people, if they wake up to what is, the power of a shift in them shifts everything around them. It's a law. It's the ripple effect. It's the butterfly effect. We all know the movie Back to the Future. Michael J. Fox goes back in time. He slaps one person. 20 years later, the whole world is different. So at every moment, whether we slap or whether we love, whether we extend kindness or our own creativity, changes everything. Mm -hmm. So I try to tell people uh, that they have incredible power just by the personal shifts that they can make. So, okay, four things that people who are watching this can do. 
Four things? Yeah. Oh, I'm not a four thing person. I'm hundred a hundred things. I'm a one thing person. And my one thing is is seek what's true in your own life and then act on that. It's really about following your own bliss. So the creativity that you want people to act upon is what exists in their heart. Is it a painting? Is it a poem? Is it teaching a class? Is it taking a class? Is it cooking? Is it becoming a lawyer and fighting for human rights? People, if they get in touch with their own hearts, that would be my one thing. Get in touch with your own heart and have the courage to take the hero's journey and follow that bliss. I'm Kathy Elvin for The Huffington Post, here with one of my favorite people on the planet, Tom Shadiak. Star, stage, whatever it is that you do, what you really do is teach us to be true to ourselves, follow our purpose and our truth, and I'm so grateful that you're here today. We're in the Creative Visions Foundation, Dan Eldon Center for Creative Activism, and we welcome everybody to look us up, creativevisions.org, and learn more about Tom Shadiak and how you can be true to yourself and follow your purpose. It's fantastic. Can I have a hug? Absolutely. This is amazing. <laughs>